Dwarf craft devices, the great destroyer. Scared. It's great. It destroys. It's a mother great destroyer. Ah. The great destroyer. Um, this is an AC powered version. Um, I will still make you a battery powered version if you freaking need one. Uh, but I'd really rather uh, you went with AC power. Here we have our volume, secondary gain, primary gain. And that there is a starve knob, which prevents power from getting to the circuit. I'm going to start tonight with my Squire Tele Custom 2 that I have customized. Yep, I did that all myself. Uh, shortscale.org, everybody. Stop by, talk to me on the internet. Um, I have this bad boy tuned B, F sharp, uh, B, B. Uh, it's the secret to writing awesome songs is tuning low. I don't I don't know if you knew that. Fuzzes. <laughs> this here normal style Telecaster um, and it's gonna do some different things I can't really tell you how the Great Destroyer is gonna sound with your gear because so far it's been different with everything I've plugged into it um, I don't know <laughs> I just know that I enjoy it so hopefully you guys do too yes.
Batmaru, the Bronco bass, that's right. <laughs> Also on utterly unshielded instruments such as this one in uh, haunted rehearsal spaces like this one um, you can use the Great Destroyer to pick up sports radio. The Great Destroyer! As used by Alan Sparhawk of Lowe and Justin Meldell Johnson from Beck. Hope I said that right. I've been working on it. Um, so, uh, plays bass with Beck, also as a producer. Justin Meldell Johnson. He seems like a pretty neat guy. I asked him if he could come over for dinner, but he was like, hey man, I live in California, you're in Wisconsin. And I'm like, well, you're all rich and stuff. And he's like, shut up!